Speaking English, Phrases for Relationships and Romance This week's theme for Speaking September is Relationships and Romance. Here are seven English phrases and expressions that you can use when talking about this topic. Remember to give short answers to the questions in the lesson using the new phrases. Number one, have a thing for or have a crush on. To have a thing for someone is an informal and indirect expression to say you are romantically interested in that person. Another, slightly more direct way to say it is that you have a crush on someone. These expressions are used when you feel attracted to the person, but you're not sure yet if the other person is attracted to you. For example, I have a thing for a guy in my class, but I'm too shy to let him know. I think Peter has a crush on you. His eyes light up when he's around you. Talk about a time you had a thing for somebody or had a crush on somebody. Number two, crazy about. If you're crazy about someone, that means you like or love that person very much. You can be crazy about someone who doesn't share your feelings, or you can be crazy about someone you're already in a relationship with. For example, he's crazy about her, but she won't even give him the time of day. This expression, won't even give him the time of day, means she won't even speak to him. Jen and Chris have been together for six years, and they're still crazy about each other, meaning they love each other very much. Have you or one of your friends ever been crazy about someone? Number three, get serious with someone. If things are getting serious between two people, it means the relationship is getting deeper and is not just a casual thing. Two people who are getting serious might decide to be exclusive date only each other, not date other people, or move in together, that means begin to live together, or discuss marriage. For example, my brother's never had a long-term relationship, but it looks like he's getting serious with his current girlfriend. Now it's your turn to use the phrase. In your past relationships, how long has it taken before you got serious with the person? Number four, pop the question. To pop the question is an informal way to say, ask someone to marry you. The typical verb used for this action is propose. For example, you're engaged, congratulations. So how did he pop the question? In your culture, what are some traditions around popping the question or creative ways to pop the question? Number five, have an affair. If a married person has an affair, it means he or she has a lover outside their marriage. They are romantically or sexually involved with someone who is not their husband or wife. The expression have an affair is usually only used for married couples. The more general term cheat on someone can be used for both married couples and boyfriends and girlfriends. For example, Travis discovered his wife was having an affair with someone at work. Lisa said she'd leave her boyfriend if he ever cheated on her. Now answer the question, why do you think people have affairs or cheat on their partners? Number six, dump someone. To dump someone is to end a romantic relationship with that person. If you dump someone, it means you decided to end things and the other person wanted to continue. If you are dumped, it means the other person decided to end things. For example, Erin dumped her boyfriend because she said he was too controlling. Have you ever dumped someone or been dumped 
Or has it happened to a friend of yours? Number seven, soulmates. If two people in a relationship are extremely compatible in their personalities and values, meaning that they will probably stay together for a long time or even forever, they can be called soulmates. For example, I dated a lot of guys before finding my soulmate, and we've been married for 25 years so far. Do you know a couple who seem to be soulmates? There are 10 days left to get September's special offer, the Everyday English Speaking Course and 100 Quick Conversation Lessons from Ello.org. The Everyday English Speaking Course will teach you hundreds of real phrases to use in daily situations, like travel, shopping, restaurants, socializing, and more. And the Quick Conversation Lessons from Ello.org will help you improve your ability to understand spontaneous conversations between native English speakers.